All right, check this out. My father-in-law gave me this. He was using it, and then he said it stopped working. It wouldn't start again when he pulled the trigger. It's a Karcher HD511C pressure washer. It's not actually that bad of a machine. It's got a brass head in there under all the cobwebs. And it's one of the better older ones. But yeah, I think there's an electrical issue with it. He said he was washing with it and then he let off the trigger, it turned off, pulled the trigger again and it wouldn't start. And he had been running on an extension lead, so nine times out of ten it's gonna be a capacitor or something on the motor. Or the motor's burnt out, but we're gonna go for capacitor first. That's a cheap and easy fix. So he said he put a new fuse in it. Or maybe a new plug, I don't know. New fuse. And it still doesn't work, so we'll have a look at it. Yeah. I think that's our problem there. You see it bulged here. It hasn't exploded. Sometimes they explode. You go, you can see it bulged out at the end there a lot. That's generally when they've let go. They'll explode like that. So I have a meter to put on this, I'm gonna test it. It's supposed to be 25 microfarads, but we'll see what it's reading. Alright, we want to set to 200 megafarad because it's 25. Oh boy, zero. Find this one in the cupboard. It's reading 31, and it's reading. Actually, oh, well, actually, it's reading thirty-one. It's pretty close. So it's supposed to be twenty-five, but I'm going to put this thirty-one in anyway, just to see if it works. We could potentially get the right one if it does. Doesn't fit, but I could make a fit if I cut that off. Now we'll see if it works first. Oh yeah. That definitely turned on. There.
Ja, ik ben echt vet. I'm gonna assume the oil and stuff's okay in this because I think you have to take it apart to look at it and I'm not going to. It sounds okay.
So the capacitor in a motor is basically what allows the motor to gain rotation to start spinning. So if it's dead, like this one is, the motor just locks up solid. And when it locks up, it over amps, blows the fuse, and now you've got a motor that isn't working. So whenever you put a new one of these in, it causes a lag, which allows the motor to turn, and then the motor gets up to speed and it switches off. The reason running on extensively blows these is because there's a voltage drop over that long distance of power cable and this basically just switches off and on until it explodes which is what's happened to this one as you can tell by the shape of it so it was a quick and easy fix keep this old machine going for a bit longer